ESPN. NT, yeah, the the neighbors to the north, bro. Yeah, dude, that album's fucking fire. Honestly, yeah, it's that, that great. Like, if you like it. rock music, that album is fucking fire. Like that and shit it, sounds good. As and fuck. the sad thing is, is, you know, they're like on the low still. Yeah, yeah. And I got two songs from the Reese Brothers in there, which their newest single, uh, "It's Never Me," is good as fuck. God, that shit's really good. So shout out. That's to the a band Brothers. we need to get in here, Surge. That would be great to get another. Interview Go ahead, brother Latino you know, Heat. Huh. A Wall Nation. Oh yeah. Sugar Ray. Yep. And then Bad Meets Evil. Exactly. Sugar yep. Ray. Yeah. What the hell's going on with the cab surge? Buffering. Well, no, it's 130 to 127. It's still fucking winning. The most recent edition. Whether it's by it looks like LeBron about to go shoot some three for I think, or a mile. It's just, I just, as I'm scrolling up, I guess my finger is just hitting him. Yeah, and that's fine. Who stank? Crawling in the dark. I love this yep. song, actually. That's right. I pulled some shit out there. Cr- wow. Fucking oh, great. There ain't too many. We might be, we might be the only two who ever really listened to Hoobastank. Oh, yeah. No, and me and my friends used to. Dude, Hoobastank was the shit. I'll tell you right now, though. The most recent ad, there was this one song, and I, I got, honestly, shout out to Apple for putting me on to it. Um, How the Apple? F- Wait a minute. Yeah, it was an Apple commercial. I heard the song in an Apple commercial, and I was like, I want to have that song in my playlist, and I found it. How is it that you have Hoobastank and I don't yeah. see Edema? Uh, oh damn! Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you are bro. correct. Yeah. What, I, what are you doing? I don't got that much incubus either. Yeah. What are you what? doing? How? I, that's what I'm saying. Like my that playlist, my work playlist is pretty much my catch all. <laughs> you know, for like all my like singles yeah, and random. You just, you just, you tripping man. That hurt, that hurt man. I saw Bruh. everybody. I saw everybody. By I New Jabez is on there though. Yeah. No. It's that's that shit right there. Yes. That's Samurai Shampoo. Shampoo. Say it right Shampoo, now. Shampoo, bro. God yeah, damn. it's too old. God, no, we just know how to say shit right. What, you going to be saying Bashada next? Yep, Bashada. <laughs> I'm black. I'm black. There's no, I'm not supposed to be able to say Bashata. Yeah, that's right. See, that's that type of music you just get super, super high on and you start staring at the ceiling. <coughs> or you just drive around and enjoy life. Yeah, for oh, real. That's true. And just fuck it. If we chill. had one of those cities where you could just drive around and enjoy life, that would be amazing. Yeah. Exactly. But we don't have exactly. one of those cities so like that. So you're saying Tampa's not that city? Not really, bro. Have you ever tried to drive down Bayshore and just look at the fucking uh No <laughs> downtown? Can't no. You can't really do it, bro. No, not at all. You can't. You ever tried to drive down the freaking uh the Skyway or the Howard Franklin and look? No, you can't really do it either. Because you're going like ninety. We don't have cruising streets like that. No, no. Like I mean, all- I guess, well, Del, well, no, Del, sometimes <laughs> on a good run, <laughs> Del Mabry is, is decent sometimes. You don't want to cruise down Del Mabry. Well, every, it, there, you can catch it every once in a while where you're just like, you're not hitting lights and the traffic's not too bad. Well, yeah, but that's if you're just you trying. Know. I'm talking about just, just cruising down the street. Oh, like we don't have a street that you just go to where you just cruise like like uh, maybe Mandalay over in Clearwater. Right. OK. That you know what I'm sense. saying? Maybe Mandalay. And the thing about that is that it's always under construction. So fuck it. Isn't like most shit down here. Like under always under construction. construction. <laughs> yeah. But we don't ever hold the mayors accountable. So it's like, hey, fuck it. We could build this shit for how many years? Uh, you didn't make it to the bottom of the playlist, by the way. I'm just going to shot myself out on this. So we go from <laughs> Lincoln Park to Neil Diamond. To Tom Petty. And oh, I saw, I saw that. I just, I, I, bro, I couldn't say anymore, man. You just said, you had, yeah. I was looking for edema and I didn't see it. Yeah, where's your plug in, Serge? My what? Let me get that plug. So you got to hit, bro, he's about to hit us with some stuff. Since we, didn't have a, since we didn't have a music mix, right? He said, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to hit you we with some stuff. Bone I'm, I'm, I'm bless you. Spotify. Nope, that wasn't it. Nope. I love how my playlist is when I put the fucking the connector and it jumped all the way to the top. Like, we're yep. going to start from the beginning just to make sure you, like, ready for this. Because you you may not be. Oh, yeah. He should be the... I was going to say he should be the background. So I was picking up, you know, more uh, women for NBK. Right. There you go. This is the Reese Brothers. That's what I figured it sounded. This is that new shit. It sounds like that. The kids, like you said, man. Easy. Shout out to the Reese Brothers. Yeah, 
These kids sound like they fucking walked out the fucking eighties. Bro, the Reese brothers are amazing. Hey, these kids are seventies, eighties children born fucking 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> This, like, to me, this reminds me of, like, a few of the times that I've, like, gone out to, like, random bars, and you get that few cover bands that just fucking nail it. Yep. And you're just like, yo. Like, there's, sir, do you remember it was Jamie's birthday, like, a few, like, quite a few years ago, and uh, we was at Somebody was playing the Irish bar. No, we was at the Irish, the, the, not McDinn's, it was across from Whiskey North. Oh. Um, uh, O'Brien's. Yeah, there you go. O'Brien's, and it was the old dudes. The old dudes was jamming. I don't remember anymore. And uh, these Come old on, guys, man. these old guys, like probably I want to say mid fifties, maybe. Like each one of them, and it was like a three set. And these guys were killing it. And then like me being me. I like to be the guy that yells out Freebird because there has to be that guy. Oh yeah, now I remember. And uh, so. I didn't expect them to actually hear me. And they're like, yo, we you want it. that, you got to pay for that. And I was like, oh, what? Challenge accepted. So as I'm walking up, they start playing La Bamba, which I felt was a little racist because I know I look Mexican, but still, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> but besides the point, <laughs> I drop a 10 in the bucket. And sure enough, these dudes dropped Freebird. And... If you've never you sure heard, that wasn't McDinn's. No, it was not. Promise. Doesn't McDinn's have that part? Because we were in the they cool do. Part where they were smoking the cigars, and then you come out. Yeah, and no, 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 no. This was definitely O'Brien's. I know this for a fact All right. because we went straight to Whiskey North right after. But See, the reason we Jamie. went to O'Brien's is because we were waiting for people to get there so we could go to Whiskey. And then the dudes played Freebird, and this shit sounded so good. Like, one dude did the whole solo shit by himself and murdered it. Like, and these were, like, these old fucking dudes. And you get shit like this, kids like this. Who Shout out to old fucking dudes. Now, shout out to the Reese. They're getting a lot shout better. Out Reese yeah. yeah. I mean, they were great to they begin were, yeah, with. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. But, but it's just fine-tuning like, now. Really, really, really good. Yeah. I really enjoy the song. It's, it's really hard to believe there's two of them. Right! Yeah. And, and they play everything. They've opened for some bands like Chicago. Chicago. And, uh, yeah. They, they've, they, yeah. They, 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 they've definitely put in some work. And I, they'll blow up in the next year or two for sure. I can see that happening. And they got the sound. Like the kid sounds good. He ain't just like some random singer. Like he actually sounds good, and then they play fucking amazing. Like and the thing is, like then then I remember how young they are. And I always laugh at the lyrics a little. Bit, yeah, you know. But then I'm like, I can't hate because it sounds great as fuck. Exactly. And then uh, shout out to Apple for this one. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard this song before, right? Or seen the seen the Apple commercial with the dude with the earbuds. And he's dancing in the street. The shit's. I don't know, but I love her voice though. So many on the floor, so maybe we should go yeah, they didn't use this song. This was a dude by himself, like a random dude, probably like maybe an actual dancer guy or some shit. I don't know, maybe a well-known guy. But this chick, mm, sounds fantastic. But I really like because the beat. Catch me if you can. Woo! No, you don't have any other plans. Are you down, diddy, down, diddy, down, diddy, down? Kind of reminds me of like the old jazz singer a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Down, diddy, down, diddy, like, I feel like she's got some white pearls down, down, right now and some like red lipstick. And, like. That was a good time for that drop. For real. I like that. It's like SoundCloud. It's like Butterfuls. Right? SoundCloud's categories. Except it's a Spotify exactly. categories. That's like a, the shit you haven't heard. Right. 
Because everybody hasn't heard these songs. You know no. we could put them all to shame. Yeah, they did. They now isn't it. the time to play it safe. Well, there's some people who have. I'm sure they got. Plus, you know, by us doing it this way, you know, these people are getting streaming numbers. Right. They are now, though. Right now they are. Every single thing is feeling right. And the thing is, you know, like she, yeah, <laughs> little Dicky and then James Brown right after, yeah. <laughs> like that's my playlist, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. There's not too many chick singers right now that I, I hear the voice. I'm like, damn. And then yeah, it, beat though. Yeah, exactly. Shit, yeah. So shout out to Apple on this one. Like, it was, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know this song even existed. Right. Which even then, I mean, her name is Arjana. Well, we, we might have been able to roll some shit like that. <laughs> ARJ? Yeah, that, that, that could have happened. It would have came up. That's a good way to use that beat, And this shit just flows. Yeah. Like, this is one of those songs that you have in the car when you're driving, and you just kind of feel just a little bit smooth. Well, compared to what we were listening to earlier, I mean, jeez. Yeah. Right? Sometimes you hear things, and you just forget them. So here's some ear bleach. And uh, shout out to this guy that I'm about to play next right here. His shit, like... Um... Is, is actually quite fucking amazing. Uh, let me see. Like said, nobody knows who we were listening to earlier, so hey, yeah. I mean, this is way better. Yeah, by far. Let me see. I'm going to let that one ride for right now. I play that smooth shit, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized that myself. <laughs> now that I hear it yeah. Now that I hear so much shit sometimes I'm like damn This is dub FX yeah. If you hear the beat And you can't tell That is actual beatboxing And that is actually him beatboxing Yeah you can hear him with the <laughs> You can hear him breathing Yeah so shout out to this guy He actually I saw I, thanks, Shout out to Reddit because Reddit uh, posted one of his videos, he went out to like a like a park, like a fountain and shit. He just set up a looper, yeah, he's got, yeah, and just started doing the beatboxing. The song that he did, here it is. This is the song that he did right here. Listen, you can hear it. That's all him. Even the synth. Well, the synths are probably added, but overall, yeah. But yeah, he's 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 talented. Like beatboxing doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion. Especially when you set up a looper. Right. Exactly. I mean, and that's the thing. This is the song he did. This shit literally in the middle of like a park. Looped the shit and had his chick handing out his CD and shit. I can see that. Well, I can see that, man. I mean, hell, beatbox. I mean, hell, the beatbox. The beatbox people have been around since what? Since fucking Biz Marquee. Yeah. So like, exactly. I mean, I think I thought uh, I thought Rozelle pretty much. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, Rozelle was fucking dope when he came out. Yeah. He was all beatbox. Everybody was he, what is he the music box he used to call himself. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got talent, and it's sad because this ain't the shit that gets a lot of fucking airtime, apparently. Obviously, we all know the sad story. Of course not. You know. <laughs> Marketing dollars wants dumb people, not smart right. people. And I mean, and the thing is, some of his other songs he got, he's got some, like, definite, like, uh, uh, you know, positive vibes to the music, a lot of good things, you know. Well, it's not that they don't want smart people, man. They don't want creative people. You got to pay creative people way more than you have to pay regular people. Exactly. This is true. And then a good old...